Hello everybody. You have no idea how many times I have wanted to film this video, uh, but always something has happened. The light is not good or sometimes the cars are at the wrong place at the wrong time, making a lot of noise. So this time I thought 3 a.m. no natural light having all the books I have under my camera acting as tripod. Yeah, that's the moment. That's the that's the real moment. So basically one year ago I finished my PCT which was amazing and Today I just uh, watched uh, the documentary by Karel, who did the fastest known time this year, supported fastest known time, 46 minutes. It took me 177, <laughs> sorry, he was not that fast, 46 days. But it took me 177 days. So, yep. Imagine for that hike, you even don't need the six months visa, you just can come on ESTA. Yeah, that's for my European friends who were struggling with all these visa things. Yeah, but when I was watching this documentary, I was really getting back to the PCT in my mind and yeah, only good memories. <laughs> but I was also happy that it finished. It was over <laughs> because by the end, yeah, I was tired, but happy. So when I got back from the PCT, I decided that I try to move from this regular work life that I had been doing for over 10 years to a little bit more free lifestyle. And uh, I don't mean that I don't want to work, but I would like to work location independent and I would like to work just choosing my own hours. Sounds nice. Uh, not so easy to do. There are quite a lot of options, but none of them are like easy. It's, it's like take it or leave it. Like you either sacrifice your soul, you sell your soul basically to some company and you get that fixed salary and fixed hours and stability, even at remote work. But another option is to look for the freedom. And that's a little bit more complicated because you are that much more picky. But not to keep talk, uh, beating around the bush, I think, is, is the uh, expression. Let's get to the business. So what's my plan from now on? I spent one year saving up some money, building up a little bit, a little bit of online, uh, not business, but income and planning for this year or the years coming from now. And my plan is to do something which is not that rare anymore. It's becoming more common and common. I want to try out this remote work lifestyle. But as I said, I 
I would not like to sell my soul <laughs> again and I would uh, try to manage my hours myself which means it's much more difficult to find those jobs and to get to those jobs but it's possible so in one week i will be leaving estonia and i will be going to different interesting places which i have been carefully picking uh, my plan is to travel at least six months is absolutely minimum like I, I don't even like no <laughs> not less than six months but hopefully it will be longer because it's not going to be travel but it's going to be lifestyle and and on another hand I know it will not be forever because I know it's a phase that I need to go through and enjoy and then do something else, another thing. Yeah, I have quite a lot of hikes already in my list, what I would like to do, but it's not time for that yet. I have been dreaming about location independent, freedom, lifestyle, everything like this for so many years. And I feel like if I'm not doing it now, when I have all the possible supporting factors to try it out, <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Um, and all these job options and, and things that are online, they, that people talk about, that are so easy to get. Yeah, if, if you know... If you, if you get your permanent job, like, yeah, you know, you know, your nine to five, you need to only have this process until you get the job and you have the job, you know, the interviews and getting no's and everything, but when you are freelancing, you don't have single fixed contract. Nobody is obligated to pay you. So it's basically like you need to work for every deal. And it, it, even if you are working for somebody who, to who you have been kind of working for already like one year, but you don't have any contract, they, they are not obligated to... Or if you have contract, it is short term. It all depends. But at the moment I'm doing freelancing jobs, which are based on one specific task and then next task and next task, like writing tasks. So there is even no contract. So, and, and at the same time, when you are trying to find more you know jobs small jobs then it's like constant putting yourself out there getting no or getting yes you can try or getting yes send us some video explaining why you should be the one who we hire or um, getting like different information and and yeah it's it's like you you really need to be ready for it if if you don't want it then it's easier to go to the office every morning because at least you don't need to prove yourself over and over again but how i look at this um, game is that to get certain number of yeses you need to get certain number of noes it's all like statistics so i have even like excel table where i have all the places where i have sent my cvs or or offers and 
and then <laughs> later I just either put yes or no or or if no answer by them I write them again and then most probably I put no there so yes it is not easy but luckily I listened I learned from the digital nomads before me who said try to get something something before you leave at least something don't start from zero so I have been writing articles to different Estonian newspapers uh, already for one year and it has been going quite well but it's not like enough work uh, for me to like really sustain myself uh, but it is something and then also I rent out my home already at the moment I'm living in the Airbnb because I rented it out but then I came back to Estonia for some time uh, but it didn't make any sense you know to cancel the renting agreement for this few months so I'm living in Airbnb at the moment nothing fancy basically the cheapest but really nice Airbnb and um, yeah so if you have at like I, I feel like I have several different income sources already at the moment uh, however they are not like very significant but they are there and uh, it's much better than zero <laughs> so yeah that's that's the income plan and i think now i have um, i have given myself seven months um from end of october or or from november until end of may this is my time. Make it or break it. One year ago, in one, uh, in this kind of time, in six months, I was able to walk from Mexico to Canada. So I would like to see what I'm able to do with this six or seven months now. Am I able to get to this income level? that I can go from there or do I just give up basically or I don't know what to do but I don't want to give up too early I want to try I want to take that chance I want to try and if I fail by the end of some certain specific time yes then I can admit that I failed <laughs> and that's it basically then I have failed and what can you do if you fail nothing but yes I I have already paid for some of my flights and some of my accommodations and I have chosen um, quite moderate cheap I would say places to stay at so my my living expenses are very low and I can imagine I can go for those seven months with uh, with my current even situation financially but yeah that's that's the financial side but another side is that I'm just proud of myself to trying it making that step and I really wanted to to record it from the beginning that I could see my progress during this time and that's why I'm here and it's very strange because when I started recording it it seemed so difficult but no, and I'm already recording it. 
it's it's easy and i think with many things it's like that that just take the first step build that um tripod out of books as i have done <laughs> put on this lamp to create some light just press the record and see what happens and basically that's what i'm going to do with my trip uh, leaving in one week just get to the plane and give your best see you soon